um, good day, ladies and gentlemen from all around the world. I rename, I remain your brother, uh, Peter Adidoto Akinri from. It's my name once again, and um, I. It's been a while. We took a break on uploading on YouTube and making videos, but now, by the grace and the mercy of God, we we are back, and we should get our messages more um, frequently as we do before and we will not make them to be too long at all but today um, on this resuming day of our discussions um, we want to look at a particular topic and this um, topic is um, striving for position actually um, it is one of humanity's um, wrong approach, striving to be recognized above others. Striving. It's a human hum, humanity's wrong approach, but the real topic is of, I mean, uh, the part of humanity's wrong approach you are looking at today is um, striving to be recognized above others. So we're going to look at this from the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 28 to 30 let us pray heavenly father we go into your word we thank you for this privilege to listen unto you accept our thanks and adoration in the mighty name of jesus lord we pray that as we go into your word let your light shine unto us in the name of jesus and help us to be able to understand every bit in jesus name in jesus most precious name we pray amen so let's read together Luke chapter 4, verse 28 to 30. And all day in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath, and rose up and trust him, and rose up and trust him out of the city, and led him unto the brow of the hill, whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down long, but he passing through the midst of them went his way brothers sisters let's pay attention let's pay um, the dearest spiritual sensitivity to the last statement I read here he says um, but he that's verse 30 passing through them passing through the midst of them went his way the Bible did not recognize that Jesus tried to conceal his identity by um, any um, rough means here. The Bible expressly is explaining to us that Jesus passed through the midst of those that wanted to throw him down the city, wanted to throw him headlong. That's what the Bible says in the book of King James here. I mean, I mean using the King James Version, that they might cast him down headlong. So, and other Bible verses says to throw him down. So, um, Jesus Christ passed exactly through their midst and went his way, but they could not recognize him. What is the purpose for them not recognizing him? I mean, this is somebody that you wanted to kill, so you will know his face very well. How then could they not recognize him in these times? Very simple. Jesus spoke to the hypocrites, I mean, the, to the chief priests, the high priests, the Pharisees, the scribes, the Sadducees, and called them hypocrites before. And what was the reason why he was calling them hypocrites? They loved to be recognized, they loved high positions, they loved to be called master, they loved to be saved. They love to be in higher positions or in higher tables in, in at, at, um, at parties. They love to be revived. In fact, they wear long clothings. When they pray, they make long supplications so that they will be um, seen as someone that has done something big. But Jesus was on like that. Jesus' exact appearance every day was exactly as every other normal human being not appearing um, specially adorned not appearing um, um, with all of these um, 
um, honors that the fire that the Pharisees loved loved he was just a normal human being that's Jesus Christ the Lord the Lord of Lord the King of Kings the creator of heaven and earth the creator of every man walked through these heads as a normal human being moderate in all of his doings in his appearance, in his dressing, in his um, way of relating with another person, he always did it in moderacy. That they are not able to tell who is actually the Messiah from the person that is not the Messiah. He never sat on a throne. He never sat in any um, special seat. He never rode um, golden chariots, powerful chariots for that position except the time when he wanted to triumphantly enter into jerusalem this was the reason why he was able to pass through them without them recognizing him if these were the high priests if these were the sadducees if these were the chief priests people will easily recognize them by the, the beauty and the 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 the, the, the um, greatness of their appearance, the way their their apparels were adorned, beautifully adorned, specially adorned. So, this message is coming to you and I today that we too should not be striving to be recognized above others. In fact, there are many times when it's even our prayer that God will pray, let us be the greatest person in the world, let us do this, let us rule, let us... Um, let people serve us. That's many prayers that a lot of Christians have prayed. But this is not the will of the Father. The will of the Father is that we all are able to move through these heads according to, to do all things accordingly to the will of God. To understand the sovereignty of God at all times. That when we are experiencing challenging times, when there is not enough, we continue in honor and in the sovereignty of God. When there is a lot, when we have in excess, we continue it in the sovereignty of God. That if you become um, the president, maybe of the world today, that you are not um, putting yourself um, a, as if you, you, you are in a caliber greater than the caliber of others. This is the life that Jesus lived. This is the life that he used his life to preach unto us, for us to be able to live. This is, he did not live according to age. He did not live according to caliber. He did not even look as if he was God himself here on earth. He lived like every normal human being. You remember the time when his parents came and they wanted to start giving them special honor and and they came to Jesus and said, your parents, I mean, your sisters and your mom is there. He said, who are my brothers? It is you that sit with me, that have chosen to say you want to um, obey the will of the Father. This is my sister. This is my mother. This is, I, these are my brothers. Jesus sat many times with beggars. He sat many times with treat collectors, tax collectors in their houses sat with sinners, sat with people that people would have looked at as people that should not even be reckoned at all. He even communed, related with the Gentiles. So, we also, when we get, even if we find ourselves in the positions of power, the positions of authority, let us not be authority drunk. Let us not be power drunk and power driven. For humility is the way of the people, of the children of God. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. We will talk more, uh, more on this later if the Lord gives us grace. God bless you in Jesus' name. I pray that it is well with every continent of the world, Asia, Africa, Oceania, Europe, North America, South America, for all that are sick. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. See you next in the next video. God bless you.